No, 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 don't go in your hole. Be nice. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am Jack, and I run Yakin' with Jack YouTube channel here on Facebook, Instagram, all those social media platforms. And today, I'm heading off shore with a good buddy, Matt Miller. He runs uh, Miller uh, Charter Fishing. I'm not sure if I said that right, but I will leave his link down in the description. That way, you'll be able to check him out. He runs charters here in the Pensacola area. He is always usually on the fish. Every time I see pictures, it's just tables tables full of fish he gets for his clients but we're gonna do a little grocery shopping out there today you can try to get some mingo some trigger and hopefully some grouper and some deep water we're gonna to try to fish anywhere from 100 to 300 foot of water try to do some slow fish jigging and whatnot but the main goal is just to get some dinner but with that being said let's get out there let's get the fishing guys So we started off this trip using double dropping rigs with some squid to try to catch some trigger fish and some bee lungers. Shark, Shark infested waters. Drop the squid down. Good to drop. I'm getting a nibble. Oh, that might be a snapper. Ooh, hello. Jack. What's that, Jack? What's that, Amber Jack? Nice little Amber Jack. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come here, little buddy. There you go. It's a shark. Ooh, scamp. Baby scamp. Beautiful little scamp. You keep? You keep scamp? Scamp. What size scamp you got to be? What is it like? 16? Yeah, he's way too small. All of them. Nice. Hooked up, hooked up. Any little trigger? Oh, Mingo. White snapper. Oh, bold, baby. Bold. Here we go. Bold, baby. Hey, I don't let some money go. Get jiggy with it. Drop. 
get the gun off. We got a mingo. Oh, yeah, nice mingo. Oh, don't get that weight on that tree. Beautiful mingo. Oh, six on fire. Feels like a good Another one. Do me, do me. Getting down to it. I get excited. Hangs down. It's aggressive clip, huh? Yeah. Aggressive one. Hell yeah. Garlic aioli. Some of that horseradish sauce. Yeah. Got a little Keep spice to it. <laughs> Kobe. So after we caught our limit of mingo snapper chicken fish, I decided to drop my jig, JYG jig down, see if we can catch up some grouper. Let's try it out. Back to the bottom. One six. <laughs> there we go. It was a matter of time. Oh, it's a decent fish. I got some too if you need to. I bought a bunch. He's coming straight up now. Oh, look. I'm not sure what this is. Come on, what you got? Don't be a trigger. Freaking knew it. Stupid trigger. That's one of the things about them jigs. Don't wait on them. Okay, I see you. Okay, Jay Quellen. Okay, Jay Quellen. It might be a snapper. Come on, buddy. Uh, no, 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 don't go in your hole. Be nice. Right, 
Hi, buddy. No. He is diving hard. Come on. He's coming up now. No! Come on, buddy. Come on up. He might have just pulled her up. Nope, nope, I lied. It's a bluefin tuna. That is a big fish. Come to daddy. Daddy's new pair of shoes. This is, this is a big boy. I'm going to be going home. I mean, I'm sitting down for a minute. Oh, it's a big fish, guys. Big fish. Trying to crank him in. Amberjack's close still, right? Yeah. That sucks. This is a big Amaco. That'd be nice. Last time I caught an Amaco was with David and it whooped my butt. <laughs> Damn! Pulled hook. I think I got my jig back though. Son of a gun. Can't lie. I wonder if he got shark because my sister's gone. That hurt my feelings. So I ended up hooking a fish I never caught before, especially on a jig. But my GoPro died, but I did get it on camera just a little bit. Check this out. Oh wow, he's not even hooked. Look at that. Atlantic Bonito, man. All right guys, what we have here, this is what you call Atlantic Bonito. It's almost like Bonita, but these things actually have pretty sharp teeth. Kind of in the mackerel family, but it's supposed to be very good sashimi. It's actually my first time catching one of these. Caught it on the jig. And I got my new toadfish knife. This one right here is a 6 inch mid flex. You can tell it's kind of thin. Got a nice little flex to it. And we're going to try this out. Never cleaned one of these before, so I'm just going to feel where the head meat is. It looks like it stops right there. So I'm just going to make one incision. Cut it like butter. Take my knife. Follow that backbone. All the way down. Let's see if I can get There it is. And you should be able to slice it. One slice, come by the tail. Just like any other fish. And let's see. How good. Oh, this meat is very soft. There it is. And there's the meat. Kind of went past the life was so sharp it went past the uh, actual backbone in here but that's okay but that's the meat it looks pretty good quality we're gonna try it it's supposed to be good sashimi style it's sat on ice for a day and a half almost so the meat kind of did firm up but it's still kind of soft and i'm gonna skin it out real quick it should be pretty easy i'm not sure how that skin just by judging on the fish the skin look like it'll be easy to cut through so i'm just gonna grab a little part of this skin this guy just to follow on through yeah there we go I did leave a little bit of skin on but I am gonna be trying this raw so I'm just gonna go take this knife and just flay that skin right off like that and on this side too and when you I know when you eat raw fish you don't want to eat none of that bloodline so I'm gonna take this Let's go ahead and cut that bloodline out. Going in at an angle. Just like that. And there's the bloodline. And we got two nice chunks of a lamp we needed to try out. Alright guys, we have our nice piece of fish right here. I'm going to hope it's lighting out a little bit. It looks a little dark in here, doesn't it? 
that better? So we got a nice piece of uh, Atlantic Bonito. They also call them Northern Mackerel. I'm gonna cut this little bloodline out real quick so I don't wanna eat that, especially if I'm eating it raw. I'm gonna take this new toefish knife. I'm gonna cut it in thin pieces. I did put it in the freezer for a little bit just to get a little more firm. But you need small pieces like this. It's pretty good. This is my first time trying Atlantic Bonito. It definitely looks good. Definitely looks sushi grade. I did bleed it and put it on ice as well. Make nice, nice thin cuts. And this knife is very sharp, so it makes it pretty easy. So I'm going to cut out right now. I'm going to try it out first. So I got a chopsticks here. I'm going to try a piece. I love, I love wasabi on this, even though it burns me every time. Put a nice piece of wasabi. And I heard it's supposed to like melt in your mouth like butter. A little bit of soy sauce. Wasabi, but it definitely did melt in my mouth like butter. <clears throat> Try it with your soy sauce. Mmm. It's very good. It's actually delicious. Mmm. Look at my chopstick skills. I need to work on those. A little soy sauce on it. Mmm. That is actually delicious. Yeah, the Atlantic Bonito is pretty good. Um, I do like Blackfin a little bit better. But it's definitely good. But, all right, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And see you guys on the next one. Make sure to subscribe. Yes, subscribe. Let's put a big piece of wasabi. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Mm. It's going to make you breathe on fire. Oh. Ah.